Imagine that you are developing a strategy video game with several units – archers, cavalry and spearmen. Each unit can perform actions like attack, defend, move and so on. You want to implement the same action across all units without having to change the unit classes each time. Also, all the logic must be encapsulated and addition of new units and actions must be also implemented seamlessly. The visitor pattern is the best for this problem. The visitor is a behavioral design pattern that allows you to add new operations to existing classes without modifying their structure. It separates the operations from the classes they operate on by encapsulating them in visitor objects. This pattern is handy when dealing with a structured hierarchy of classes and multiple operations that need to be performed on those classes. First, we define a unit interface representing all types of units. This interface includes a method accept, the key to the visitor pattern. Next, we have concrete classes for each unit type, implementing the unit interface – archer, cavalry and spearman. Now, we define the unit visitor interface. This interface declares a visit method for each type of unit. We then create concrete visitors for different actions. For example, in an attack action visitor, we should define how particular units attack. Finally, you can use a following pattern in your game. Here, each unit type can accept different actions, for example, attack, without altering their classes. There are four actors in this design pattern. First, the visitor interface, which declares the methods for each element type in the hierarchy. The concrete visitors are classes that implement the visitor and provide implementations for its methods. The element interface declares the accept method, which accepts the visitor. And the concrete elements are classes that implement the element interface and its method. They receive the visitor and delegate the visit to the appropriate visitor method. One of the key advantages of the pattern is the separation of concerns. It separates operations from the element classes, enhancing clarity and maintainability. Additionally, it's highly extensible, allowing new operations to be added without changing existing element classes. This aligns with the open-closed principle, as adding new visitors and operations doesn't require modifying existing code. Moreover, the visitor facilitates double dispatch, enabling the right method to be called based on both the element and the visitor. However, there are drawbacks. It can add complexity, especially when there are many elements and visitors to manage. Another issue is the potential for code duplication. Similar operations on different element types might result in repeated code when multiple visitors are implemented. Furthermore, its applicability is limited. While it's highly valuable for complex structures and numerous operations, it may be excessive for more straightforward situations. That's all about the visitor design pattern. See you in the next video.